What's going on, you guys? This is a story of a man of the name of David White. He's from North Carolina. Uh, first off, let me say condolence to his family. And um, it's really sad, bro. Uh, he's from North Carolina. He was found in, I guess, I think east of South, east of Nashville, inside of his truck, dead, shot to death. Uh, I feel like no truck driver deserved this, man. It's already sad enough we out here. We trying to, you know, we trying to make a living for our family and we going away from home. We never know once we leave out that door if we ever going to return back to that doorstep. And um, <clears throat> that's the sad thing, man. He got family. He probably have family and kids that he's trying to make a living out here for. He's away from home. He's an over-the-road truck driver. And just to end up in another state, inside of your truck shot dead is sad bro it's sad you know we don't deserve that bro and i just want to get into this video uh like i said again condolence to his family and um let's get into this video man Police need your help tonight to find a murderer. On Monday, a long-haul truck driver was found shot to death inside his truck in East Nashville. Andy Cordan has been looking into the story. He joined us now in studio with what we know. Andy? Yeah, guys, I called the driver's trucking company today, and the woman who answered the phone, she was very emotional. She told me they didn't just lose an employee Monday. They lost a member of their family. There's still crime tape on Lucas Lane, where police say... 37-year-old David White is found shot to death in his truck. According to investigators, the North Carolina man is last seen inside the travel center, buying food around 7.20 Sunday night. When the long-haul trucker does not check in, White's company asks truck stop employees to check on their driver. That's when they make the gruesome discovery. Very heartbreaking. Though truckers at the lot did not know David White. Out to his family, my condolences. When told one of their brothers had been shot and killed here, the men we speak to feel the pain. What clues the cops have is not exactly clear, but I can tell you there is a $5,000 reward for information about the murder. And as you can see, that brutal, brutal uh, information, man. As truckers, man, I feel like we have a target on our back, bro. Like, it's like we getting targeted from everywhere, bro. Like, down, even down to our own people, bro, out here. Like, the brokers, the... I mean, everybody make it so hard for truck drivers. I, I would never understand that, bro. Like, we are the one that's away from home from our family. We are the one that's driving long hours, bro. We are the one that's... Like, out here by ourselves. You get what I'm saying, bro? Like, we go to these truck stops. We we, we filling up, bro. And, like, the way they treat us with the parking and the fuel. The way they treat us inside of the truck stops, bro. Like, how everything is just so expensive. I'll never understand, man. But, like I say, bro, uh, you got to protect yourself out here, bro. For the ones who protecting themselves. Hey, I ain't questioning nobody how they protect themselves. Uh... Whatever you got to do to make sure uh, you can keep your life out of danger out here on this road, man, do it, bro. Like, hey, some truckers, hey, some truckers just ain't going for it. Some some truckers got that thing on them. You know what I, you know, you know. Um, but it's sad, bro. Like, just got to protect ourselves out here, man, and just make sure we're safe out here, man. Because like I said, when we leave that house, it's not a guarantee that we're going to make it back to that doorstep. Uh, we got crazy people out here, as you can see, in the world that's doing crazy, crazy and evil things. Um, I don't know what they think. We millionaires out here on this road, man. But, like, a lot of us drivers out here, we're struggling. A lot of drivers struggling out here, man. Like, you taking somebody's life, maybe you think you can get a three, four hundred dollars or something like that, man. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth taking a nobody life. It ain't worth going up to somebody's truck, uh, trying to rob them, stick them up, killing him, and... Now he's he's gone. His family ain't got nobody no more, and all over what? Like you know what I'm saying? A lot, like I said, a lot of truckers ain't. So a lot of truckers out here living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of people ain't even got it like that. So um, <clears throat> just to know you getting killed over like some truckers probably getting look. Some truckers out here probably trying to get an advance right now. You know what I'm saying? You out here trying to think this truck driver got all this money? And he ain't even really got nothing. 
paycheck to paycheck. So it's like, bro, like just truckers, man. We gotta be safe out here. We gotta protect ourselves. Um, and yeah, condolences to his family, man. I'm just kind of lost for words. It's I'm kind of mad too, bro, because it's like, man, this could have been me. This could have been you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It, it's sad, bro. Um, I just had to get this video out, bro. I hope you guys uh, continue to stay safe out there. And, and hey, I'm out here in, uh, where I'm at right now. I'm in Iowa, bro. It's cold. It's super cold out here. Like 13 degrees. So uh, I just had to share this video. Sorry for the sad news, man. But I wanted to share this to my trucker so you know we can open up our eyes and see what's going on out here, bro. And make sure we stay protected out here. Um, I wish you guys well. Happy New Year's again. Continue to stay safe out here, man. And do y'all thing, man. Much love for your boy, Taylor Harris. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hey!